you all right? Oh, you must be, you must be so hurt. Oh dear. Oh, listen, I was just in the basement, sorting, sorting through files, and all of a sudden I heard this tremendous gigantic explosion. I was just, I was so scared. I scurried and I hurried to see if there was anyone down here that might need my help. And then I found you. Are you okay? It looks like you bumped your head. I conked my head too. I'm just glad you're all right. You must have failed right, right through the ceiling. Did you? Oh, we have got to get you some medical assistance pronto. Listen, I'm going to help you up now, okay? Don't you force yourself to get up. I'm going to help you, okay? We're going to do this nice and easy. My station down here, I have some medical equipment right over there. I got everything we'll need, okay, until the doctor can get here. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, yep, yeah, take my arm, go ahead, take my arm, and it's only a few steps. Mm hmm. I promise, it's only, it's, it's right over there, so don't you worry. Come on, I gotcha. set you down and we're gonna figure everything out okay one two three okay i got you i got you don't you worry about it don't you worry about it okay all right nice and easy nice and slow we're gonna we're gonna make it okay don't you worry about that to speak to Dr. Brand Pronto. This is Nurse Tilly on the phone, okay? Okay. Was the explosion up? Was it all around the hospital or was it just on my side? We had this terrible explosion. I'd say about, um, I don't know, it couldn't be more than five, seven minutes ago. Um, some, some of the new construction work that been working on. It just like came crashing down. We have a patient down here in desperate need of medical attention. Um, well, luckily I'm 
is going through files and uh, I'll probably actually have their files with me, thank goodness, so I will start asking them questions and everything, but I don't, um, he coughed his head, Marjorie, he coughed his head, he needs a cranial nerve exam pronto, and you know who does those best? Listen, Marjorie, you get Dr. Brim on the phone for me, and you... I understand you have other calls to take, but we have a patient right here, sitting right in front of me. Okay. Okay. Look. Chapter, chapter are you talking about? I cannot perform the cranial nerve.
wheel. Have all that figured out um, and now I need to ask you a couple questions prior to of your incident that you just had now did you have any type of head injury ever before your fall today any type of fall or any type of trauma to your head before this you, you did okay all right you did when was that when did that take place week ago. Oh my. Oh good gracious. What happened a week ago? You fell from your treehouse. Oh. This has to be reported. Did you report that to your doctor when it happened? You didn't. Oh good. Oh good. Goodness gracious. Okay. So I've got it in there now. In the system. So did you have any bleeding? Any scars? Any Anything that might, um, you know, be, be an injury to you, to your head. Okay. So, but you do. You, you had a little, a little scar, but you didn't do anything about it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Well, sometimes, um, even if you think it's okay, you still need to get it checked out because, you know, there could be issues within that we're not really picking up on. You know what I'm talking about. But it's okay. Don't you worry about that. I just had to put it in the system that way Dr. Prim knows. Okay. So don't you worry. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write just a couple things down um, for Dr. Prim to know. So you fell out of a tree house, is that? And about how high was the fall? Like, were you at the top of the tree? Were you climbing up and you fell? It, it makes a big of a difference, you know what I'm talking about. You were all the way at the top, okay. And how tall is the tree? Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put that in the notes. have to go in and spend any time on this. It'll already be done. That way they can get right to your cranial um, yeah, your cranial nerve exam. You want to get that done as soon as possible. So you've had two head injuries in the last week, is that correct? Two head injuries? Oh, last two weeks? Oh, no, one week. Oh, my. you all fixed up. Now, um, have you ever been hospitalized before? Like, had to stay overnight in the hospital and get any type of uh, surgery or treatment or any special care? Okay. Okay. Alright. 
Now, uh, before we go on to anything else, I'm gonna need to ask you uh, a phone number that would be good to call at any time. Okay, I'm sure your family's gonna want to know where you are while you're getting your cranial nerve exam, because it might take a while, especially with all the patients. Oh, especially with all the patients that you know might have been affected from the explosion. I don't know how many. I don't know how many people are out there. But my main concern right now is you, getting you all better, getting you all, all better and fixed up, okay? So, um, I'm going to need to type in a phone number here, all right? Let's go ahead and give me that phone number. What is it? Okay. Okay. All right. And who is that to you? Are they family or? Maybe that's a home phone. Maybe you could give me a cell phone. Okay, good. All right. Okay, what was that? Four. Okay. Good. And that was, is that the same person? Or is that a different person? That's their cell phone number. Okay. Is there any other person that I should write down for you? family member or a guardian. Okay. And what's their names? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, and what is their number? computer shut down. I don't know what kind of, um, I don't know what kind of electricity, uh, you know, disturbance might happen out through the night, but I'm just gonna write those down. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy them from the computer, so you don't have to repeat anything that you just told me, okay? Just sit back and relax for a few minutes. I'm gonna write some things down. doing this, I'm going to try to go ahead and get a hold of the doctor again. It's been long enough. Okay. Hello. Is this Marjorie? Okay. Yeah, this is, this is Nurse Taylor again. Did you Hold the brim. Dr. Brim. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just pretty much asking them the basic questions, you know, their name, their phone numbers, their date of birth. I did look up the file. I got it right here. I'm writing down allergies and things like that. I'm about to take their medication that they usually take. Right now, I'm just kind of double checking everything, making sure everything's okay with them. I'm trying to take things a little bit slow because they conked their head. I done told you that, but I didn't tell you this next part. They conked their head twice. No. No, no, no. Once, once tonight, and once about a week ago, they fell down off of their tree house. Mm-hmm. It was a tall tree, so they conked their head twice, and I really... No, they didn't report it. They didn't report it at all. No. No, they didn't. saying they, they are in desperate need of a cranial nerve exam. Now, I'm not, I'm not calling and harassing you for nothing. I'm telling you, girl, get Dr. Prim down here. Stay it. And that is nurse's orders. Okay. Okay. Alright, 
she's finishing up her patient now. Okay, I'm just going to ask them a few more questions, and then I'll be expecting her to walk through that door. Okay. Fabulous. Alright, bye-bye. Okay, thank goodness. So it looks like the doctor is going to be here any time she's finishing up with her patient. Um, I guess they failed to. Uh, so it won't be long, and you're, you're going to be getting your cranial nerve exam. Okay, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry. Alright, so I'm going to add these papers into your file. That way the doctor can uh, take them and look over and everything. So I'm just going to set those down. Okay, Now I do have this first aid book. See, I didn't want to tell you this at first, but I'm still kind of training to be a nurse, so I don't know much. But I have everything here that we need for now, okay? So I see your finger is bleeding a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give you a band-aid, okay? That always helps. relax. You're doing fine. Now I'm going to have to come over there and put this on your finger, okay? Okay. Alright. Give me your finger. I'm going to put it on there. Okay. Good. Now I'm just going to wrap Here, and I think I have a couple things that you are going to benefit from. Also, before I forget, is there any uh, medications that you need to be taking when the doctor comes in to see you before your cranial nerve examination? Is there any? Okay. So we filled out everything you're allergic to. We filled out potential numbers if we need to make any calls. And we filled out the medication. Is there any more medication you can think of that you're allergic to or that you need to take pronto? Anything at all? And I'm talking anything at all. Okay. That's fine. I was just I was just double checking. I can't I can't ever be too. Now that that's all taken care of, let me see what we got in here. So, I know that you hurt your arm, and I got this little splint for your arm, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and fix you up right now. Just set that down really quickly. I'm going to put this down here.
tell her that you need that stand, that you need that pronto. stitches on your uh, little cut that you had on your head. Now, I haven't looked at the one that happened a week ago. You said that there was a cut, though. Okay. She's gonna wanna look at that. You know that, right? Don't be scared. She's very a gentle doctor. She's fine. You're gonna like her a lot. She's, she knows what she's doing, unlike me sometimes. I'm just new. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta got learn from someone. <laughs> so, um, I, I must ask you, what were you doing down here in the basement of the hospital? Oh, that's right. You fell. You fell from the roof. Okay. I just have to ask these questions because if I don't, if I don't ask these, I like to safety questions, you know, the doctors will look at me like I'm not doing my job. And it's just not what I want, so I had to ask. So I'm gonna put that in the description of what happened in your incident. I'm gonna put, they fell from the roof, or not the roof, <laughs> what am I talking about? They fell from, what was that? Store, first, the first floor? So, weren't you were on the first floor. How long were you there until I came at your rescue? Okay. Just about a minute or two. Okay. Okay. Alright. And I'm just going to ask you a couple questions about um, last week's incident and everything. So, was anyone with you when that happened? yourself. Okay. Alright. That is okay. I'm just gonna write these little details in there. That way the doctor don't have to ask so many questions. They can get right to the point. Okay. Another main question that I wanted to ask you was, um, have you ever had a cranial nerve examination before due to any type type of injuries. Okay. So this will be, this will be your first ever cranial nerve examination. Okay. So I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Um, that way you don't feel so overwhelmed. I know sometimes someone can say the word exam or examination. People will start getting all stressed out and everything, but it's really nothing to get stressed out about. So what it is, is it is a cranial nerve examination. What they do, what your doctor is going to do, they're going to be examining all of the five senses that you have. So, they're going to be testing out your sight. They're going to be testing out your hearing. They're going to be testing out your taste buds. They're going to be testing out your feelings. And they're going to be testing out your smelling ability. Okay? So, it's not just an eye and hearing test like you had in school. It's a little bit more um, advanced than that. Now, I've never really told anyone this, but back when I was training to be a nurse, we all had to give each other like a cranial nerve examination. When they were giving me my examination, I fell asleep. I fell right asleep like halfway through it. It is the most relaxing thing. I'll tell you what, it is. It's like, as soon as they start talking, 
because they get real up close like because it's it's a pretty personal examination they're testing out your senses well anyways the story is when I was in school they got all up close to me and everything and they started um, they started putting these things like telling me to whiff the smells and stuff telling me telling me to test them out and tell tell what the scent was so I got through that part, you know, and then they started testing out my eyesight. They started, you know, telling me to look this way, look that way, and oh man, I was just ready to just go to sleep. So they tested out my um, tasting ability, my feeling ability, you know, if I could feel them pinch my fingertips and stuff, which I could. But the part that really got to me, the part that really made me want to just fall over, go to sleep right then and there <laughs> was the part when they were getting real up close and whispering to me trying to test my hearing ability I, I don't know what I don't know what that feeling is um, we're doing all kinds of research about it because a lot of a lot of people feel that way too it's kind of it's kind of extraordinary actually do you ever feel that way do you ever feel that way when someone's you know, doing a certain, a certain rhythmic thing, rhythmic sound or sight, and you'll just feel this, this, oh, this great feeling of relaxation, I guess. Me too. I feel that all the time. Okay. Now, your doctor is probably on her way. But before she gets here, I want to just test a couple things. I'm going to put these gloves on. Okay, because I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to feel your face. And I'm going to have to feel your cheeks. And I'm just going to take a look at your cut, okay? So don't you worry. Um, so, I'm going to scoot a little bit closer to you now, okay? Don't you worry about it. move you closer to me so I'm gonna help you up again okay don't you worry don't you worry I'm gonna help you just like I did last time it's no different okay I gotcha I gotcha don't you worry Feel your forehead, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna feel your forehead. Let's see. Um, it feels okay to me. You're a little cold. It could be because we're down in the basement, though. It's, it's a little chilly down here. Don't worry, though. When you get upstairs, um, they're gonna have warm blankets for you. They're gonna have um, every little thing you can think of that makes you feel comfortable. They're gonna have it all. I'm going to test your cheeks. Let's see what they... Your cheeks are a little bit warm, but mostly, mostly I could say that they're pretty cold compared to mine. Mine are very warm, oh no. Anyways, so, let's see. You feel okay? Look at your cut now, okay? Don't you worry. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not. I need you. I'm just gonna need you to look over there, look to the side. I'm gonna look at your cut, okay? So just look over there gently. Is this the same one that, um, or the same 
side that you uh, fail on and conked your head last week. It's, it is, okay. So you, you fail and conked your head on the same side twice in one week. Oh no, that is not good. Okay, well, okay. You can look back to me now. Yes, it is Nurse Tilly again. I'm just calling to make sure. Okay. Thank you, Marjorie. Oh. I think I think they're doing okay. They're just they no, they're not falling asleep. They're just gonna shut their eyes for a little bit. Yeah, they're just gonna shut their eyes for just a little bit. Um, until she gets here. They're not falling asleep. I thought I heard her coming. She is she is coming. Got the pile all ready. I'll have it all prepared. Okay. Oh, I think they're falling asleep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to wake them up, okay? Alright. Get her down here, pronto. Pronto. as I could. Oh. Well, you see, you see, they got, they conked their head twice. I don't know if Marjorie told you this or not, but that's why I kept on bugging you to get down here. They conked their, they conked their head twice. Once last week and once right now, they fell right through that ceiling. Mm hmm. Okay. I think they're gonna be all they're, they seem fine. They can remember their name and everything, so I think they'll be all right. Yeah, um, I told them that you would want to do a cranial nerve examination, so if, if we could get them upstairs pronto to get that done, I think that'd be best. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll help you. All right. How's 
it's everyone else. Everyone else is okay, pretty much. Okay, that's good. I was worried about everybody. I was just down here looking through files, you know, trying to do my studies a little bit, getting to know the place, and then all of a sudden this big explosion happened. I just don't know. I didn't know what to think. The first thing I thought, oh no, I gotta find out if anyone needs my help. I gotta save them. Sure enough, came into this room, and I saw them laying there. Oh, boy. It was just the scariest thing. <sighs> yeah, tell me about it. Now, listen, right here, before you take, before we take them, are you still awake? Okay, you stay awake now. Before you take them, I want to just tell you I wrote down all of the facts. Their name, their uh, date of birth, their allergies medicines, all that stuff. So you don't gotta ask them all that. I already took it. Okay, so you just get straight to the cranial nerve. And it'll be alright. I'm gonna go ahead and log out. And I'm gonna send this file right up to you. Okay. Alright. Let's get this patient up. the examination room, okay? See, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm gonna carry you just like I did before, okay? It's gonna be alright. Okay, you just come on with me. I'm gonna get you in that little wheelchair that the doctor brought, and we're gonna take you. We're gonna bring you right up the stairs, okay? Don't you worry. Alright, got you. We're just gonna lift you You dozed off there for a bit. That's okay though. You're you're all safe now. We got you up in this special room. See, first aid. And uh, Doctor Prim's gonna be um, right here. She's right outside the door. So what we're gonna do for you is. One of our, one of our other nurses, she's gonna come in and she's gonna put a very warm towel right behind me. See where that blue, little blue uh, blanket is. She's gonna put some warm towels there for you. She's gonna make sure that you're feeling comfortable before your cranial nerve exam, okay? So is there any last notes that you want me to write down? before I go, you know, tell the other nurse that she can come in here. Okay. Do you? Okay. Okay. Alright, and do you have any more questions about the exam? Anything I can ask your doctor? Anything like that? Anything you're not sure of? Anything? Okay. Excellent. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and step out. Step out of the room, okay? I'm going to leave the door open, that way we don't have to knock on it and startle you. If you doze off again, try not to do that. Try to stay awake, okay? Try not to doze off. Now, 
just met her today, so I'm not sure what her name is. Um, all this commotion happened, so we really didn't have time to talk, unfortunately. But, um, she seems real sweet. She seems, you know, real nice. She'll only be in here for a couple minutes, but I think you're gonna like her, okay? So she'll be right in. Um, alright, so. Alright, you take care now, okay? It's been really good meeting you. I'm gonna... I give I'd give you a hug, but I don't wanna, you know, yeah, pass germs or anything, you know. So I'll just go ahead and say goodbye, and I'll I'll talk to you later, okay? How are you doing? I heard you had a little fall. It's gonna be okay. You're doing great. I have a warm towel for you. Okay. So I'm just gonna fold it up for you. And set it by you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nurse Tilly told me that you had some cold hands and you're just feeling a little chilly, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those to you, okay? How you doing? You doing okay? Alright. You go ahead and take that and that'll, that'll help you, um, you know, warm up a little bit. It's a lot warmer up here than, it, than in the basement, so you should warm up pretty soon. is just like a light sheet so if you want this I can leave it with you or I can set it aside if you'd like okay sounds good to me I really hope you feel better okay um they should definitely know uh, some things after this cranial nerve exam is done Dr. Prim does excellent though like you have no worries over there with the blue blanket, which is a little bit more heavier of a blanket if you're that cold. Um, so if you change your mind and you want the sheet or the blanket at any time, just call Nurse Tilly or uh, Dr. Prem will be in here anytime. Or you can, you can call me. I'm Nurse Madeline, but people just call me Usually, I give all the patients a piece of candy for being really, like, uh, good, I guess, you know. I would give you these, but I'm afraid that they would uh, interfere with your taste examination. So I'm not going to give these to you. Do not eat them, but I will give them to Dr. Prim. That way, before you leave, you can get them you've been very patient with us tonight um, with all the ruckus going on you have been incredibly patient okay and we appreciate that here so I'm gonna go ahead and put this over there okay and if you need anything by all means just let us know
I have your file right here. So, sorry it's taken so long. Um, are you doing okay? You are. Okay. I'm just gonna set a few things up and then we're gonna begin with your cranial nerve exam, okay? Is there anything that I can have one of the nurses get for you? Okay. All right, well, you just uh, sit back, okay? Try to practice some breathing exercises, maybe calm down completely, okay? Just try to breathe. Um, I know this is your first um, cranial nerve exam, but it is, it's gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be okay. Um, you seem to already be doing great. From the report I read that uh, Nurse Tilly wrote, everything looks fine, okay? So, I'm just gonna take a look at you really quick. I see that you did, you bumped your head. That's okay. Um, so, uh, we're definitely going to go through a series of tests after I get some things prepared, okay? Um, it won't take too long at all. Um, do you have any questions before we begin? Okay. Well, actually I'm going to get to that in just a second. I'm going to go over every test that we're going to take for the cranial nerve exam. I'm going to tell you, um, you know, just everything that we're going to be doing that way you're not so overwhelmed, okay? So if you're nervous at all, just let that go, okay? It's gonna be fine. Um, you are showing me really good signs so far. You're making eye contact with me. Um, you know, you seem okay. You, from your file, you know, you can remember your name, you can remember your phone number, you can remember your birthday. So it seems like everything is gonna be okay but I'm gonna do a very detailed cranial nerve exam and just make sure everything is perfectly fine, okay? Um, so, believe it or not, um, you know, not all the side effects from a head injury are negative. You know, some people, um, some people that have bumped their head before or have had trauma to their brain, actually experience positive side effects sometimes. Um, they can hear better, see better, or uh, they're, they're just a little bit smarter afterwards. So we're just going to perform a series of tests and see, you know, if it has affected your, your way of thinking, your way of, you know, visually seeing things. We're gonna check your, uh, if you can see colors. Okay, we're gonna check all that stuff check your hearing, so I'll get more into detail with that in just a second. I'm going to straighten out your file a little bit and um, just get a few things prepared, okay? If you have any questions at all while I'm doing this, please let me know, okay? Right. We're going to go ahead and begin by going over the series of tests, okay? And by all means, if you have any questions about anything, anything at all, uh, while I'm going over these things, please just, you know, stop me and ask me, okay? Because I want you to be 
person aware of what we're going to be examining today, okay? Alright. Okay, so the first part of the exam is going to be your sense of smell, okay? So, I'm going to be doing a variety of different smells, and you're pretty much just going to be telling them back to me, okay? I'm going to make a lot of notes and see if your sense of smell is okay, okay? Alright, the next part of the exam is going to be all about your uh, ability to taste correctly. So, at first, it's not going to be too detailed. Pretty much just want you to tell me if the taste is sour, sweet, bitter, um, spicy, or none of the above, which I'll go back over that, okay, when we're about to do that portion of the exam, okay? Does that sound okay to you? So, the third portion of the cranial nerve exam is um, I'm going to be testing out your feeling sense, okay? Your sense to feel. So, I'm going to be adding some cold and hot, um, different temperatures to you, seeing if you can tell me the difference. Also, I'm going to be testing to see if you can feel um, your, the fingertips, okay? I'm just going to give Give your fingertips a little tiny pinch, uh, just to see if you still have feeling in all of them, okay? Alright. Okay. So we have the smelling, the taste, the feeling, and then the fourth portion of the exam is going to be testing your sight, okay? I'm going to be asking a few different questions during each of these sections of the test, okay? Is that going to be alright? Okay. And the very last uh, portion of the examination is going over your hearing ability, okay? Your sense to hear. Alright? Okay. So if you don't have any questions about the five phases of the examination, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, um, the first thing I just want to ask you, let's see here, so with, with smelling, do you currently have a cold or anything that would affect your ability to smell correctly or um, have any interference with the test today? Any, any um, maybe a nasal issue or anything that would affect your ability to smell anything? Okay, excellent. All right. Also, um, is there anything at all that you're allergic to? Any scents that maybe make you sneeze or just have any allergies or anything? Is there anything? Just pollen? Okay. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be using pollen on you today. Alright. But I will write that in your notes. Just so that they will have that. Okay, and the very last thing before we begin the first part of the examination is I need you to tell me your first and last name, just so I can verify that I am working on the correct patient. Okay. Alright, and the middle initial is- okay. Alright. Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? Just 
just gonna set this right by him, if that's okay. Alright, so the first thing that I want you to do today is close your eyes and I want you to take a deep breath first with your mouth open. Take a deep breath and let it out, okay? Take your time, it's okay. If you like the slower deep breaths, that's fine. Okay, now I want you to keep your eyes closed, okay? Um, this whole first section is, or this for first portion of the test, I'm gonna have you keep your eyes closed, okay? Just gently closed, that's fine. So, um, next I want you to breathe through your nose, just a very big with your mouth closed, just breathe right through your nose and try to clear any, uh, you know, si your sinuses, yeah. Okay. All right. So this first smell. I'm going to just kind of waft the, um, the smell to you. Okay, that way it's not directly... Oh yeah, these are pretty strong scents, okay? These are... these are specifically for medical aroma treatment, okay? So, all of these scents are completely natural and they are healthy, so do not worry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and make sure your eyes are shut and I'm gonna go ahead and waft this smell right to you. All right, and take your time, really think about what the smell could be, and when you're ready, you let me know, okay? Okay, is that your final answer? Okay, let me write this down. So you guessed rosemary, and that was correct. Okay. So that is a good sign. Now we're gonna move on to the next smell. Okay, so keep your eyes closed. And again, I'm just going to sort of waft this smell to ya. Okay. So, so um, just try to take some simple, gentle breaths in. Okay. Okay, you know that one immediately. Yes, it is tea tree. I'm going to set aside the ones that you get correct, okay? Alright, let me take this note. Alright. Okay. So this next one. So far, you are doing excellent, so just, you know, keep, keep doing your best and we will be on to the next portion in no time. We do have a few more smells to go over today. Gentle breaths, okay? 
I'm not going to put it uh, too close to your nose, so don't even worry. It's just kind of a gentle waft through the air, okay? You should, you should just barely smell it just a little bit, okay? So, yes, it is eucalyptus, or eucalyptus, all right? So, good job on that. closed, correct? Okay, good. And just gently, gently smell this and tell me what that is. Did you, did you say apple butter? Apple butter, okay. Um, it is very close. Okay, I will tell you that. Very close. You're still doing excellent. Um, any minor little silly, uh, kind of happy little accidents, those are okay, okay, so don't even worry, but I do have to write down that you, you did smell apple butter, it was actually, uh, apple cinnamon that it was, but that's okay, um, they smell very much alike, uh, so that's okay. All right, looks like we are at the last smell, and... Okay, so I'm just gonna... All right, and take your time, and whenever you uh, have made a decision on the smell of this one, you just let me know, okay? You think you know what it is? set that down. You are correct. It was lavender. Okay, so you should be very proud of yourself. You have done excellent so far. So, um, my studies show, my studies show that your scent of smell has not been affected from your head injury. Okay, and this cranial nerve exam will cover last week's head injury and tonight's head injury, so um, it's showing that you still have your sense of smell and that everything in that department is fabulous. Just fabulous. So, you write down that last one. It was lavender, and you got that correct. I'm just going to put this, um, this sheet with your files really quickly and then we are going to get started on the next portion of the examination, okay, which is the taste. Before we get started on this, I've got to ask you a couple of simple questions. Um, have you had anything to eat or drink in the last 12 hours? Okay. Um, no, that shouldn't affect uh, the tasting examination at all. What I'm going to do to kind of balance out the overall taste in your mouth is I'm going to give you a effervescent, okay, and that's going to kind of just neutralize your taste, that way um, you will be able to kind of take a sip of the effervescent water that I'm going to make you in just a moment. You 
can take a little sip of that between each different taste that I am examining you with. That way you can kind of get like a fresh start during each process of the test, okay? So just sit tight for a second. I'm gonna pour some water in this little cup and I'm gonna make you a little effervescent. Usually I like to break them up a little bit before I put them in there just because it takes a little less time, but does it does make a little bit of a uh, yeah kind of like a staticky sound a little bit you can kind of see uh, the bubbles well not the bubbles but the evaporating little dissolving process going on there it's almost about done I'm gonna kind of whirl it just whirl the water around a little bit like so. Okay. Kind of settles it down a little bit. So. All right. I'm going to go ahead and have you take a full drink of this, okay? And swish it around in your mouth just a little bit, okay? Do you need help drinking it? I know you kind of hurt your arm. come around there and I'll kind of tilt your head back and just help you get a get your first drink out of this okay no worries okay now kind of swish it around just a little bit um, that way it'll be okay relax and I will give you a another sip of this after we yeah after we do the uh, first part of the taste test okay so I'm just gonna set that down right now let's see where did it go okay so what I'm gonna do is I have I have a few cotton swabs, Q-tips, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a little tiny bit of the taste and you're just going to tell me one at a time if it is a sweet taste, if it is a bitter taste, if it is a sour taste, if it is a spicy taste, or none of the above, okay? And please be as honest as you can, okay? All right, and um, are you ready? Okay. All right. Let's see. And I'm 
just going to kind of place this along your tongue and just kind of like your bottom lip. That way it's not too much. Um, and just kind of try to get a really good taste of what that is and tell me, take your time. Um, no rush at all, okay? I just want you to be completely sure. And uh, if you need more, let me know. Do you think you know what it is? Mm, it's bitter, yes. Very good. Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing again. It's going to be a completely different taste, okay? And they are all colorless, uh, just so it doesn't affect your thought, okay, of what it is, okay? And, um, before we do this, I almost forgot to give you a little bitty sip of the, um, effervescent that we just made, okay? So, go ahead and take a little sip of that. It should be alright. Okay. Alright, and go ahead and open your mouth just a tiny bit for me. Good. Okay, that should be enough for that. It's kind of... Mm, it is a stronger taste. Do you know what it is? Between the five, you know? Yes, it is the spicy. It is. It was a little bit of a stronger taste, I know. Um, we're gonna get that taken care of. Go ahead and take a little bit of this. Okay, this will neutralize the taste right out of your mouth again. That way you can start fresh, okay? Okay. And tell me when you are ready to move on to the next taste. Good? Okay, good. Alright. And kind of just gently open your mouth just a little tiny bit for me. And what is that one? Is it sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, or none of the above? Yes, it is sour. Good job. Good job. Alright. So, before we do the next taste, I take a little tiny sip of this again. Okay. Good. Alright, and... Go ahead and open your mouth just a little bit. Okay, good job. All right, and tell me what that one is. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. It is the sweet taste. So, let me, before we move on to the more detailed part of the tasting examination, let me just write down your results, which you got them all perfectly, 100% correct. Okay, so let me just write that down. same thing, okay? Except this time it's going to be a little bit more detailed instead of telling me if it is bitter, sweet, sour, or spicy. You're going to actually try to tell me the correct taste, okay? Now I will give you a little sip of the effervescent again before we move on to the more detailed part of the examination. Okay. Are right, you okay? Right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and All right. 
And do you know what that is? Mm hmm Mm hmm Good job. It is coffee. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna give you a little sip of this. I know after tasting coffee, it's kind of hard to go back to the old effervescent, but we must move on with the examination. So go ahead and take a little tiny sip of that. Good. Okay. You're doing excellent. No worries. I think you are perfectly fine. Alright, go ahead and slightly just open your mouth just a little tiny bit and go ahead and tell me what that is. Mm-hmm. Good job. It is bubble gum. So Alright, you got the uh, detailed part of the bitter taste and the sweet taste. Got a couple more tastes to test. A couple more tastes to test. Okay. Go ahead and take a little tiny sip of this again. Good job. Okay. And... Are you okay? Okay, good. Good job. You're doing a good job. Alright. Now, kind of slowly. Slightly, just open your mouth. Good job. All right, can you tell me what that is? Mm hmm. Good job. It is lemon. That is the sour taste. Okay, good. All right, and for this very next one, this is going to be the last. Portion for the last little tiny test of the tasting test. Okay, so go ahead and take a little tiny drink of this. Okay, good. And last but not least. Okay. All right. And what is that? Correct, it is the hot sauce. So. Alright, you should be very proud of yourself. You got through the second part of the examination. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have you take another drink of this. I don't want you to be sitting there with your mouth on fire from just having a little bit of the hot sauce taste. So, go ahead and take a, take a drink or take a big gulp of it if you need. It's okay. Okay, are you alright? Okay. Set that aside. Okay. It looks like the next part of the examination is the feeling test. So, I'm gonna... Very quickly, put on some gloves. Now, have you ever had any trouble with your feeling? You've always been able to feel through your fingertips, your toes, everything, your face.
So first, I'm going to begin with applying a little tiny bit of pressure on your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, your chin, and your glands down here, right below your jaw, okay? So I'm going to have to get a little tiny bit closer to you. And then I'm going to ask you for your fingertips. That way I can apply a little tiny bit of pressure to each fingertip, okay? And throughout this examination, you will need to uh, make sure that you keep your eyes closed, okay? Alright, so go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. So, I want you to tell me if I am putting pressure on which side of your face, your left or your right, and then I want you to tell me where at, okay? Alright. Are you ready? You have your eyes closed? Okay. Alright, where do you feel the pressure? Is it on your left or your right? Good job. Okay. And what part of Good job. Okay, keep your eyes closed. And how about now? Yes, your forehead. Good. Okay, and go ahead and keep your eyes closed. I'm going to apply pressure. Good job. Your glands. Okay. Which your glands, they feel feel okay. Um, they might be just a tiny bit swollen, um, so we might want to get that checked out. Okay, maybe, maybe have a follow-up with me in about a couple days to a week. We can, you know, go over some other things. Okay. I'm gonna make that just a little note that your glands were just a tiny bit bigger than normal. While I'm talking about that, have you had any, any, I know you said you didn't have any colds or sinus issues lately, but have you had anything else, like a fever, a flu, anything? Okay. Alright. So, so far, you are doing excellent on the physical examination. I'm going to go ahead and test your ability to um, decipher between hot and cold, okay? So, go ahead and keep your eyes closed, okay? Alright, and I'm going to, um, just so that you're not alert or anything, I'm going to apply this right on your chin. You're going to tell me if it is hot or cold, okay? Good. Cold. Good. Yes. Cold again. Okay. And... like the last part of the uh, physical examination for your feeling sensations we're going to need to test the tips of your fingers okay i'm just going to give them a little tiny pinch not not anything um that's going to hurt you or anything okay you're going to be fine 
you're gonna be all right. So I'm just gonna ask you to give me your both of your hands like this and keep your eyes closed because I'm going to want you to name which fingertip I am applying pressure to. Okay. So close your eyes. Give me your fingertips. Okay. And which finger? Good. Your ring finger. Good. Okay. Which finger now? Your pinky? Yes, good. Okay. Which finger now? Your pointer? Good job. Which finger now? Thumb? Good job. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give me your other hand. Okay. You see. All right. Which finger? Good. <laughs> yes. Which finger now? Good. Yes. Okay. Last one. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I was hoping I didn't pinch you too hard. Um Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a little tiny, little tiny pinch like that. I'm glad it didn't hurt you or nothing. And I'm more happy that you have all your feeling in your fingertips. That's a really good sign. So, so far it looks like your... Your smelling is fine, your tasting is fine, and your feeling is fine. We just have two more portions of the examination, and that is sight and hearing. So we're going to go ahead and begin with your sight. Before I start with the little uh, tests, I'm going to ask you a couple questions um, regarding your vision ability and just kind of your eyesight history, okay? Okay. So question to you is, do you wear contacts or glasses? Or, you don't? No, no contacts or glasses, okay. Um, do you recall the last time you went and seen an eye doctor? Okay. You probably should get an eye checkup pretty soon. Um, I know that they do it kind of like you go for a driver's test or you go to school or anything, but if you've been out a while or you just, you know, have missed the test, you might want to get that checked out soon. Okay, so it's been quite a little bit before you had an uh, eye examination. Okay. All right, and um, I have to ask you, do you have any current problems with your vision? Do things look blurry? Uh, do you do you get any stress headaches when you are trying to read? Okay. Okay. So, um, in that case, I will make sure everything stays really close today. That way you can see it a little bit better. I won't take it any farther than back here, okay? Make a little, I'll make a little note, okay? Alright. Okay. Um, a couple more questions. Do you ever see any floaters? Oh, those are the little tiny round, um, they can be black, purple, or blue, sometimes different colors. They're like little speckles you can see, um, when you look in the light when you're in the dark or just in everyday life, do you ever get any of those, any experiences with those before? Okay. And did you notice those more um, in the last year or when did you start noticing some of those? Okay. But they're not, they're not like an everyday thing, they're just kind of like the come and go. That's normal. Everybody kind of sees those sometimes, especially um, if you're looking at a very bright light and then you suddenly look away, you will you'll experience a couple floaters, but um, 
if you're having experiences with a ton, then I would definitely let your doc your eye doctor know. Have, do you experience a lot? No? That's good. A couple is just fine. Okay. So Alright. Let's go ahead and get started with your visual test. So to begin the eye examination, um, I'm going to start with some different colors, okay? Make sure that the trauma to your head last week or tonight didn't have any effect on your ability to decipher the different colors, okay? So I'm going to hold up two cards and you're going to tell me if they are the same color or if they're a slight bit different. Okay, I also would love you to verify the colors for me if they are different, okay? So the first two are these. Are they different or are they the same? Good. They are different. Now, can you tell me what this one is? And what this one is? The next part of the test, I'm just going to have you um, tell me which shade is the darkest shade out of the three shades and which shade is the lightest shade, or if they are all the same shade, okay? So go ahead. Yes. Correct. This one is the darker shade. Goes to medium. Yep, correct. And the lighter shade is right down here. So, you are very correct on that. Good job. Okay, now I have a series of different colors, variety of different colors. I just need you to tell me the color that the card is that I hold up, okay? So, the first one, red, good. This one, green, good job. And what's this one? Pink, good job. This one? Mm hmm. Yes, it is blue, it is like a it is a, kind of like a, a teal or, you know, but pretty much just the ballpark of the color, okay? I'm not too worried about, you know, the specific shade or anything, but that was a good call. Um, that's actually a really good sign. So, this one, mm -hmm, dark blue, good job. And this one, dark blue again, good job. Okay. And this one, actually these are two different shades. I don't know how that got in there. Um, these are two different shades, aren't they? Okay, and what about this shade? Mm-hmm, purple, good job. And this one, orange, good job. And this one, yellow. Mm-hmm. Dark green. Good job. Okay, so... You got all of the colors correct. So, that is a really, really good sign. I'm just gonna write that in, that your color um, vision has not been affected, okay, from any of this. you that when you go see your eye doctor, since you haven't been there in quite a bit, they'll probably want to redo your, um, your color visual test, but you should feel confident with it knowing that you passed this one. So, you're doing awesome. 
The next portion of the eye exam is I'm gonna hold up a sign, okay? I won't put it farther than about right here. I'm gonna hold up a sign and I'm gonna ask you to read off a few things and tell me a couple things, okay? It's not gonna be hard at all, just keep relaxing, you're doing great, okay? So, this is the sign, and I need you to tell me how many people are in this sign, and take your time, you know, there's, there's no rush, you can make sure you are happy with your answer. How many people are in this sign? Three. Good job. There's one, two, and three people. Good job. Alright, now I'm gonna see if you can read to me these big letters, just these three letters right here. Okay, if you could read them. This first one. Good. D. That's that one. C. Good job. And the last one is H. Good job. All right. Now I want you to tell me what this shape right here is it's a rectangle, good job okay, and it's okay if you can't do this next part this is kind of just an advanced, detailed portion okay but can you read to me these letters, any of them at all any of these letters down here and if you can't, go ahead and try to read me these bolder, um, these bolder letters. Any of those? Can you make out any of those? Okay, yeah. You. Good. Okay. That's good. So I'm gonna set this aside. Um, you did a really good job, so. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Okay, so, so far you are doing excellent on the eye examination. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the last portion of the eye examination and then we will start on the hearing test, okay? So this next part of the eye examination, it involves me shutting down the lights, okay? I'm just gonna dim them, we'll still have a light back there, and um, I'll tell you here in just a second. I'm going to dim the lights, though, first. Okay. So, for this next part of the examination, I'm going to need you to, um, you know, keep your eyes open. You can blink and everything. Um, but I'm going to have this little light on. I'm going to go ahead. It's just like that. It's... It's not that bright. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in your eyes just really quickly, kind of get a good uh, view, and kind of test out. And just make sure everything looks okay. So everything seems to be fine. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shine the light, and I want you to tell me how many times the light blinks, okay? And I want you to try to look straight at my face, just focus on something, you can focus on my nose if you want, or the middle right here of my forehead, um, just something right here, you can focus on my chin if you'd like, and Stay focused on this one thing, and tell me how many times the light flashes, okay? Okay. 
How many times? Two. Good job. Okay. How many times? One. Good job. Okay. How many times? Good job. Three. Okay. Now. I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. Good job. Okay. Now how many? Good. Okay. Good. Good. again. Good job. Okay, now I'm gonna have you just relax, okay? And, um, you're doing excellent, okay? So, this next part, I want you to look back here at my hand, okay? And I'm gonna shine the light this way so that I can see your eyes um, to make sure that they are staying center with my face, okay? And I want you to tell me if my hand moves, okay? And just tell me when it moves, okay? All right, so. Good. Good job. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Remember, stay in line with my nose, chin, or forehead. Okay, are you ready? Okay, hold it back here, just like we did last time. Okay, ready? So, everything looks nice. I'm going to turn the lights back on. Um, you just sit tight, okay? Okay. So, you did excellent. Are you feeling okay? Okay, good job. Everything is seeming perfect. We're gonna just check the last uh, sense, which is your hearing ability. And I need to ask you if you've ever had trouble with your hearing before, if you've had any uh, loud traumatic experiences with your ears, if you've ever heard any up close um, loud sounds or anything. Is there anything like that? Okay, good. So your hearing shouldn't be affected at all? Okay, good. So, what I'm gonna do first, before I do anything else, is I am going... Let's see, where did it go? I am going to just look in your ears, okay, with my few of my special tools, and I'm going to make sure everything looks fine, okay? So, I'm gonna start with this. No, no worries at all. I'm just gonna look. Okay. Looks good. Let me see, let me double check. Let me make sure. Just clear this baby off really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna make sure really quick. I'm gonna check the other ear really quickly. I'm just going to. Okay. Looks good. We look right here. Okay. 
So your ears look fine. I don't see any um, inflammation or any redness in there. Everything looks okay. Um, what I'm going to do for the hearing test, I'm going to do some up-close sounds in your ears. I'm going to do both sides, one at a time. And I'm going to need you to tell me the three words that I whisper into your ears, okay? I'm going to need you to just repeat back to me. So I'm going to start on this side. Just You can close your eyes on this part if you want to. Either way, it's fine, okay? So I'm going to say three words, and all you have to do is repeat them back to me in the same exact order that I tell you. Crayon, button, and holiday. Good job. Ladder, shelf, and sandbox. Good job. Ladder, shelf, and sandbox. Sleepy, relaxing, and snuffleupagus. Good job. Okay, so everything so far looks good. What we're gonna do to finish the hearing test is I'm going to make some different sounds in each side. Okay, for each ear, and I need you to close your eyes for this part, and I need you to tell me which side I am working with, okay? The left or the right. Or if you don't feel like talking, you can just raise your hand to match the side that I'm working on, okay? Whatever you are most comfortable. You've got your eyes closed, everything. You're comfortable, everything's okay. All right. Good. Good.
So, what we're gonna do, since you did such a great job on your examination, um, Nurse Madeline, which you met her a little earlier, she gave me some candies to give to you. She said if you are a real good patient and you know everything, that you could have these candies. So I'm gonna leave these with you. Now, I will tell you, um, without even looking over everything that I wrote down, I know that the test results are gonna be 100% fine. The only little thing was the whole apple butter thing when we were testing out your ability to smell. But that was just a silly little happy little mistake and I'm not going to even, you know, I'm not going to um, overlook that or overthink that because I think I, you meant cinnamon. So I think you're all good to go. I don't think you've been affected by anything. I think your head is fine. Um, even though you did bump it, I think it just needs to you know, have some time to heal. Um, Nurse Tilly told me that you fell kind of a little bit on a, off of a treehouse and that's how you bumped your head. Okay. Just um, my advice would be to stay indoors, you know, be a couch potato the next few weeks. Just take it easy, you know. If you got work or school or anything that you would need a note for, just to kind of lay back for a bit, give your head some rest and stuff. Okay, I can write you up a note. That's no problem at all. Um, one thing before you are gonna be able to go today is I want to check your heartbeat, okay? This isn't really part of the exam, but I just want to make sure everything sounds okay with your breathing and everything. Um, you didn't fall too far, but if your arm... Is your arm okay? Or do you think you just need a splint? If not, we can try to get you in sometime today to have x-rays done, if you'd like. Okay. It really does not look too bad. You landed in a pile of laundry, but you did bump your head on the, the wall. Yeah. So the fall should have not have been too bad. Uh, luckily, Nurse Tilly was there to kind of save the day, so. Oh yeah, it's, it's all she's been talking about today, um, which she should be very proud because it looks like you're safe and taken care of, so. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your heartbeat, listen to your breath, so I just want you to kind of relax and take a deep breath. And in, and out. Okay. And again. And out. Okay. Um, everything sounds okay. I'm going to go ahead and listen to the back. Okay, so I'm gonna go around you. I'm just gonna give that a little listen to. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to take a few deep breaths. Let's start with number one and breathe in and out and in and out. Okay, one last one. Looks like everything's fine. Um, I do want to put the splint on your arm, okay? Okay. So, this 
advice is to stay on your arm as long as you need. Um, I would definitely keep it on there for the next three days if you can. Okay. Okay, let's so go ahead and... Can you lift your arm? You can. Okay, good. I was gonna say, you lifted it earlier during the hearing test, but I didn't want to make you move it if it was uncomfortable or anything, so... Is that comfortable? Is it... Okay. Good job. Mm. Good. <laughs> okay. And, um, it does not look like you have any open scars or anything, or open wounds, so you won't need stitches or anything like that. I would just keep an eye on it, and if it's still sore after a week of resting, then definitely give me a call. And if I'm not in the office, call Nurse Tilly. She'll be she'll be right here, okay? All right. So I'm going to get your medicine that I I have it right here in the office, so you don't have to worry about going and picking it up from anywhere. I'm gonna go get that for you. So, I'm going to have um, you follow this, okay? You've probably used one of these before or seen one of them being used by somebody. It's a Sunday, Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay? And what I'm going to give you is, um, it's for muscle aches and pain, okay? This should help with the uncomfortableness of your arm and your head. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you two for each day. Okay, and those should help you a lot. All right. So I'm actually going to have one of the nurses outside take care of this for you, and you can get it on your way out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get started on your doctor's note. So, I'm just going to put this aside. Okay. So. Alright. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you off work for the next couple of weeks and school, okay, so you don't got to worry about leaving the house at all. You can literally, and this is doctor's orders, literally just stay at home and relax, you know. Okay, so let's see, what what is the date today? Let's see the calendar. It says, okay. And if Two weeks comes around and you figure you need a little bit more time off to heal, uh, come on in here and I'll, you know, I'll check you out, see if there's anything I can do to make you feel a little bit better, and if not, I would be happy to, um, um, lengthen the time off, okay, for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put, let's see, it's two weeks from, we'll start it tomorrow, okay, two weeks from tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put, when you go back to do just subtle projects, um, projects, subtle jobs, okay, no heavy lifting, nothing like that, until you feel like you can, until you feel like you are 100% again and built up. Okay. Even though your cranial nerve exam went perfectly fine, I don't want to, um, I don't want to overwhelm you with any extra work, okay? Um, 
while you're still in the process of healing. So, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign this, Dr. Prim. And I will have Nurse Tilly make a couple copies of these in case, you know, you'll probably need one for work, one for school, and I'll have her make a couple copies just in case you need to show anybody else for any reasons. I know sometimes it can be like that, so. Alright, I think that's all, uh, that's all we needed to do today. Now, is there anything at all that you have questions about or would like for me to um, talk to you about anything at all about the cranial nerve examination today? Okay, good. Um, you should be very thankful and happy that you are all perfectly fine. Um, sometimes a fall it could be much worse, but luckily today you are very lucky. Very lucky. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the room, and uh, whenever you're ready, no rush at all, okay? You can sit here for the next 15 minutes if you want and just relax. Um, I'm gonna leave the room. And I want you to meet me down the hall, and we will have your medicine taken care of and all ready for you. We will have your doctor's notes all ready for you, and um, if you think of anything that you need to ask um, along the way, okay? Just ask us then, okay? It was really a great pleasure working with you today. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.